Alright, now, um, to do this question, you must first of all understand that um, this what you're going to use is a binomial uh, theorem expansion and what we have here is a trinomial expression, right? Because there are three terms here, right? As you can see, one, two, three. So, so uh, what is the first thing that we need to do will be to uh, convert this into a binomial. Alright, so we're going to see this as though it's the two terms inside. So the first term we have it be 1, and we'll move the positive term to the front so we won't have an issue with the signs. So let this be the second term, and the whole thing to the power 6. So basically, we're not doing much, but we're just rearranging, and we, we see this as our first term, and see this as our second term. And, and uh, now we what we have here will be a binomial. Um, theorem expansion. So the next thing is to understand that what we have here is something going to be quite tedious to do and that is we're going to have a binomial within the binomial. What, what I'm trying to tell you is that, well, uh, look at this and think about it this way. All right? If you were to expand this, you're going to have 1 and you're going to have 6c1 um, and then multiply by this second term. Um, okay, and, and of course the next one will be 6c2 and we're going to have x cubed minus 2x uh, square. Okay, and of course we're going to have 6c3 x cubed minus 2x 2x um, cubed and so on and so forth. Now, but of course we must pay attention and focus on our question. And what the question wants us to do is to find the x to the power of 7 term. And you obviously should be able to tell that well, this is just a constant, there's no x at all. Um, this expansion, if you could work it out, this term, um, there isn't any x7 anyway. So to some extent, this is useless. So um, this is useless, this is useless. All right, take a look at this. Again. Um, this one, right, that's the square weight. So the highest power you ever achieve will be x to the power of 6. And it happens when you have an x cubed square. So it looks like you're not going to get x power 7 from this expansion as well. So therefore, this is pretty useless for us as well. So you see how challenging it can be. So and that is for you to go figure out which term um, will actually give you x power 7. So if you look at this, there, there are a total of 7 terms. Okay, because it's power 6 and therefore you have 7 terms in total if you go expand it out. Now, this is the one that we're going to give you, that's going to give you a 7 inside. Now, why do I say that? Well, because um, if you look at the highest power, which is x cubed, then the highest power will be x cubed cubed. So that gives you x9. So highest is x9, that means to say that there, there is a, there's a chance that x7 uh, may be popping up somewhere in between. Okay, so meaning to say, uh, what we need to do is, of course, we need to consider this term, okay, um, uh, as part of our answer. And therefore, let's think about what's the next one, right? 6c4 x cubed minus 2x, and this is 4. And again, if you look at this, this is the highest power, it gives you 12. So how are you going to know uh, whether is this going to going to give you your um, seven? power 7 or not. The, the, the point is that we won't know. Uh, I mean, you, you you can go figure out, but okay, we have to assume that there is x power 7 inside. Okay, so so anyway, this is at 3, 4, and then we have 2 more, right? So that will be uh, 6c5 uh, x cubed minus 2x power 5, and the last one, which is 66, which is 1, x cubed minus 2x and power 6. So our focus will be only on this 4 expansion and let us pay attention to this 4 now. 6c3 x cubed minus 2x whole thing cubed. Now is that x7 inside? Well um, how do we find out? Again like I told you this was a, a binomial itself right so it's a, it's a cubic binomial so cubic binomial is not that bad for us to uh, figure out because um, you know it's just four terms right so um, 6c3 6c3 is 20 so let's work it out 20 and inside here what we're gonna have is we're gonna have uh, many terms right we're gonna have like um, x cube and then negative 2x so we're gonna have 3 0 now the combination of 3 0 is not going to give you power 7 because this is going to be power 9 right so um, 3 0 isn't helpful for us how about 2 1 all right now this will give us 6 
and this will give us one. So six and one will give us seven. So that sounds like correct. So this is three C one, okay, and uh, X cube square minus two X power one. Okay, so let's work this out. And we end up having uh, negative six, negative six times two, negative hundred and twenty x power seven, right? So so this is from here. So let me highlight for you. Okay, so this is from here. Okay, so so we got one, and now we have three more brackets to figure out. So let's go on to the next one, right? Next one will be six c four x cubed minus 2x and this is power 4 and uh, <clears throat> let's think about uh, okay 64 is 15 okay to be honest we, we, we may not want to figure this out first because before you know we don't even know whether uh, is there any x power 7 term inside so let's try to find out all right so this is x cubed and this is minus 2x okay so again it's 4 so 4 0 uh, is not going to give us the power 7 isn't it because it's going to be 12 and 0 so all right you can forget about the 4 0 and how about um, 3 1 3 1 again this will be 9 9 and 1 gives us 10 so we're going to look like it 2 2 2 2 will be 6 2 6 and 2 give us um, 8 so the power 8 nah that's not what we want and how about this 1 3 1 3 well 3 3 this is 6 and you start to realize that hey this is not going anywhere because um, the next one will be 0 4 and you know that it's just going to get uh, 4, power 4. So you pro probably realize that you, you, you pass the chance of having power 7. So in, in other words, um, this term, this expansion is not going to give us any power 7. So this is not going to be helpful for us. Okay, okay so now we take a look at our next, um, next term, which is this one, right? Uh, the one that is 6c5. So let's try. Okay, so 6c5. Um, x cubed minus 2x whole thing to the power 5 and 65 is just 5 okay and of course we know that we're gonna have x cubed and a negative 2x and you know power 5 right so power 5 um, let's think all right now 5 0 is not gonna make the cut right we're not gonna get 7 from here um, how about um, 4 1 no, 4 1 neither Okay, so of course you can go ahead and try again, and uh, probably you will realize that you get one four. Okay, one here, four here. Um, this will give us seven, a nine seven. So, so this will be a five c four, right? So the term is five c four, and uh, if you work this out, um, five c four is five c four is five. So what we have here is be five, and then another five, and two to the power of four gives us sixteen. So this is sixteen x7 okay and and after we work this out this value turns out to be 480 x7 okay good so we got our target all right which is the x7 so this x7 term um, let's color code it again okay it comes from this term okay this term so uh, and we go on right we go on to the last bracket and we, we try the last term here and we try to see if this last term is able to give us an x power 7 or not um, sorry this should be power 6 okay so well it turns out that this is actually just another binomial so it's actually not that bad not that difficult as well so we have this so let's think what, what combinations can we have right zero, uh, six zero nah that doesn't work so probably you can jump a little bit right not 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 test every single combination so this three three is out as well so we can uh, try two four two four this is six this is four that gives you ten nah that's way too far uh one five one five gives you eight I mean, it's pretty obvious right so um the next one is zero six and zero six doesn't give you seven and you realize they actually passed seven as well so this is not going to give us power seven anyway so turns out that even though we have so many terms um, in this expansion that uh, we, we actually don't have to pay attention to that many of them right so uh, straight away we, we cross out this fella this fella this fella we can cross it out because we, we know immediately that this is not going to give us any x power 7 and similarly after we analyze it a little bit more we also realize that this is off this is off and, and it turns out we only have two terms that are x um, that has got x power 7 so um, what we have so we can write therefore 
the x power 7 term will be simply the 580 minus 120 that gives you 360 x power 7 so this should be the correct answer for the uh, of course when they ask you for coefficient and uh, therefore the coefficient will be just okay the answer itself will be just 360 okay so there you go this is a pretty challenging binomial expansion question but um, well it's kind of special okay